Hey guys, welcome to the very first part of your Vietnam War notes. Today we're going to be talking about the numbers. So basically some statistics, um, a general overview of the Vietnam War before we really jump into the fine details of the Vietnam War. Before we get to that though, I just wanted to talk with you um, about why it's important to know about the Vietnam War in the first place. And the answer is simple. Um, this is you know, pretty recent history. The Vietnam War did not happen that long ago. Um, you probably know somebody in your life that served in the Vietnam War, whether that be a family member um, or a family friend, something of that nature. Um, there are still many, many Vietnam veterans that are alive and well today. It's also just important to know about conflicts in American history so that you're a more informed citizen. All right, let's jump right into the numbers. So, more than 3 million American men and women served in Vietnam. That's important to remember that um, 3 million is not just like a number, right? There are real people that are behind those numbers. Okay, so don't just ca get caught up in the numbers. Remember that these were actual human beings that represent each of those 3 million people. Of those 3 million, 7,478 of them were women who mostly served as nurses during the Vietnam War. Of those 3 million, over 58,000 um, American service members were killed during the Vietnam War. So, um, you know, maybe this doesn't seem like some huge number compared to, you know, World War II or something like that. But you also have to remember this was just between the United States and Vietnam. So this is a really significant number. Um, you know, you don't want to lose anybody. So 58,000 is a tragedy. And again, there's real life people that were behind these statistics. People like Captain Edmund J. Landers of the U.S. Army. Major Tommy Gist of the U.S. Air Force. Private First Class Dan Bullock of the U.S. Marine Corps. He was killed when he was only 15 years old. He had lied about his age and was able to enlist. First Lieutenant Sharon Ann Lane of the U.S. Army. Private First Class Robert H. Jenkins of the U.S. Marines. Sergeant William R. Stokes of the U.S. Army. Corporal Charles McComan of the U.S. Marine Corps. Right? All of these were real people that went to Vietnam, they had people that they loved at home, and they didn't make it back. The names of all 58,000 of these people are engraved on the wall of the Vietnam War Memorial in Washington, D.C., which is literally just this long black granite wall, and the, the names are all carved on that wall. A lot of people will go there and um, they will leave little flags or flowers or something underneath the names of the people that they know on the wall. I think this painting is uh, really powerful. Here we see this man leaning against the wall. He has his hand on the wall. And I imagine that these soldiers that he is imagining are uh, men that he served with that didn't make it back. And as he's leaning against the wall, that's what he's thinking about is, you know, here he is alive and here are all those guys he served with that didn't make it back. The first person to be killed, um, oops, let me go back, during the Vietnam War was U.S. Army Major Dale Richard Buis. Um, he was a uh, an advisor that was sent to help South Vietnam before we were in a full-scale war with Vietnam. Um, he was in a base camp in a mess hall and him and some other officers were watching a movie and the mess hall was ambushed by the Viet Cong and he was killed. Um, when you visit the Vietnam War Memorial, you also will see a lot of people doing what this guy here is doing, which is basically uh, making a rub of the whatever name of, of this person that he knows. So if you rub the pencil over the name, it makes an indention and you can see the name on the piece of paper. So a lot of people will do that in remembrance of people that they know on the wall. Um, more than 365,000 soldiers were wounded during the Vietnam War, 
which is a, a pretty significant amount, um, which there were lots of ambushes and sniper fire and booby traps um, all over in Vietnam, which kind of contributes to why so many soldiers were wounded. And there were more than 3,000 Americans captured by the North Vietnamese who became POWs, which stands for Prisoners of War. So we will talk more about Prisoners of War in the next video. So I will see you in part two of Numbers in just a moment.